Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Uh, a card I was super excited for, Kitty Pride is finally back on the menu. Uh, I really wanted Kitty Pride when she first released. I had her pinned, and I was just waiting for her to be, like, unrestricted again. Like, she was probably going to be one of the first, like, immediate Series 5 cards I was getting that wasn't a big bad. But then, you know, she got restricted. Everyone got her for free, which I think is a good thing. You know, we didn't get to play with her for, like, six weeks, but, like, everyone gets her for free. If you bought her before, you get a bunch of tokens. You know, that, that drama's kind of already passed, but I think that was, like, a net okay thing. Uh, and now I have a Kitty Pride deck for you that I'm pretty excited about. Um, a lot of cards in here for specific reasons. So, like, Angela, Bishop, Mysterio, Bast are just, like, a really, really good package. Bast is also really good if you don't want to play Kitty Pride on one. You can just Bast, and she gets an extra stat, technically. Um, so, that's very powerful. Then you have Angela. You can keep playing Angela into the Kitty Pride. Like, Angela and Kitty Pat Pride in the same path, which is really good. Uh, Kitty Pride is great with Bishop, which is really good. All of these cards are also great with Hitmonkey, which is awesome. Bast is really good with Hitmonkey, which is great. The only card that really gets a downside from Bast is Moon Girl. I don't think you technically need Bast in this deck. I don't think you are like 100% incentivized to do that. You could do She-Hulk too. She-Hulk works. Um, Quinjet is in there for Moon Girl and Collector because you get to pick some up with Beast. So you can like pick up uh, Hitmonkey and your Hitmonkey costs one for the final turn, which is really good. Uh, it becomes really, really easy to play six cards on the last turn, especially with Kitty Pride. Uh, Quinjurf, Quinjet nerf means Kitty Pride will always be one, which sucks. But with Collector, you know, things are, are very strong. Uh, still, you know, Collector got buffed, which is great. Uh, Armor is in there because you were playing uh, One Drops, which are very good, and you don't want to have blown up. You don't want your Demons blown up. You don't want Kitty Pride blown up. Those are both terrible to have die. Um, and Killmongers are a pretty popular card, especially with Nebula. I think Nebula would be interesting to play in this deck, but Nebula is really bad with Beast, where I don't really think you need it. And I think a lot of these cards you kind of need together. Like, I think you need Angela, Bishop, Mysterio, and uh, Kitty Pride all in a Hitmonkey package. And that's just like five cards right there. And then, like, Moon Girl just kind of fits in with all of these really well. It's like, doubling a Hitmonkey is really good. Like, your first Hitmonkey is just as good as your second one, because they're equal, right? Uh, if you just go, like, Mysterio, Hitmonkey, Hitmonkey, that's a ton of stats on the final turn. Especially if they're Bastard, right? Uh, and then with Kitty Pride, you can double hit Kitty Prides, which is great with Moon Girl. You know, you have a lot of options. Where I kind of like this package, this was my first one I wanted to try with. I haven't ever played with the card before. But I do think you could do, like, Sunspot, Moon Girl, Kitty Pride stuff, potentially. With, uh, She-Hulk, which would maybe be interesting. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys right now. Uh, Gunther and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I will see you all soon for another Marvel Snap video. But, I mean, I was only drawing one card, so it doesn't really matter that much. I can't play anything here, um, for those wondering. Merry Treat! Okay, I... Weird game. So weird. Is the deck tracker bugged because of the new patch? I think the deck tracker is bugged because of the new patch. Alright. Well, that's that. <laughs> okay, we have a similar minded gamer here. What are these locations today, man? I think I'm going armor, hit monkey, and then I'll pick them both up with beast. I don't. They probably don't have a way to get into Plunder Castle themselves, so probably bishop's just enough there. Yes, yeah, so I can go armor, hit monkey, beast next turn. I get a Moon Girl, which isn't really that good. I wonder if they're ever locking down this location, because they really didn't put that, like, impressive of stats there. This location is super important because of uh, Plunder Castle this game also, I might add. That's really good. My Beast might die, but the Beast is, like, just extra here. The Beast doesn't really matter that much. We're just trying to play stuff on the last turn and enjoy ourselves, you know? I think I snap here. I want to snap, but I also don't want to... I don't want them to run. So, like, I would probably snap here in, like, win percentage. Because even if they play a double dino, I think I'm beating them. What? Uh, 
I think the Sentinel there is really surprising. Okay. Definitely playing Hitmonkey here. And then this is just the most other stats I could play. Another game where we draw kitty like last turn, but what can you do? <laughs> Collector on two is pretty good, and then we can go bishop, which is nice. Cloning God's Collector sounds pretty good. Because, like, I'll play it, it'll pick up itself, and then it'll copy itself buffed. Buffed Andal is scary. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, now I just play Bishop here, and I can go, like, I don't know exactly what the sequence is, but, like, I can go, like, Collector here, get another Collector, and then hit Monkey, and then I get a buffed hit Monkey. Hey, yo, bro. I get the same variant here. Bite of my whole style. And so this picks me up another hit monkey, which is plus two. I, a two power hit monkey isn't even that good, really. It's like, what if I just do this? I don't draw a card if I do this, is the biggest issue. Because I'll draw, I'll have demon and one other card here. I could go Angela Collector. And I pick up another collector. That's probably better. Just so I draw a card. So now I go Bishop here, Collector here, uh, other order. But, so Collector, Bishop, and then I just play cards on the last turn. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Seems pretty good. God, it's so many triggers. Uh, so again, this is probably the kind of game I would snap if I was really like, if I really cared about winning. But I think it's fine. I can do it like this too, so that way I pick this up for bonus stats, which is nice. It's pretty good. Like play Mysterio here. There's a Mysterio double here. Beast picks it up, so I gain. Uh, Four stats from that, which is nice. I'm the close one. God, there's so many triggers in this game. This game is so silly.
Not winning all three, but winning uh, winning a few here. Cool game, man. Really cool game. Victory. They, you can tell they had taste because they also had nice variants like us. I think everyone's probably playing the same deck today. So since I have Quinjet, this is probably a turn one snap if you really wanted to win. But I don't know. Does Collector trigger off of this? No, right? I don't think Collector triggers off of these. Yeah, this is definitely a turn one snappable game if you wanted to. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. This is gonna be gross. Now we just need Kitty Pride. Are they playing Kitty Pride? I would love a Kitty Pride right now. Collector. Is the Collector going to trigger every turn for them? Yeah. It, it does trigger. Man, I didn't think it would. So, like, objectively, they're just not a Killmonger deck. Which is good. Okay. That's my Angela, the better looking Angela. Oh, look at how much better mine looks, chat. Come on. Come on. Forget about it, dude. Forget about it. Hi, Gunther. I think I just played Kitty Pride and pass, and then I soak. And this is going to cost one, because it costs one less from Quinjet, and then it costs one less from this. And I just play all of these last turn. Pretty good. I don't know how hard I'm going to go in Mojo World. Like, Bishop alone is normally just good enough. I would say. They play their Hit Monkey this turn, okay. Okay. Hmm. Does he, is he saying he likes my variant? I don't know what that means. I don't know. I think I just meet the, I play four cards here, and then I'm trying to win the other two, I think. Really try to win this one, and then Kitty Pride probably wins here. We'll see. So I got a Gunther, by the way, guys. It's a windy Gunther. Gunther. Nah, he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, guys. He doesn't want to chat. He's such a good cat. Since I have Bishop in uh, Mojo World, by the way, my thought process was don't play anything big there because I think they probably don't contest that. And then I think I'm just trying to dodge a Hitmonkey at one location. And I think they think I'm less likely to play it. I think playing Hitmonkey in the Collector Path would be really excessive. So that's my current plan. So they do fight for Mojo World, which means we are winning left at least with just Kitty Pride, which is kind of what we planned. And we're not playing Shang-Chi, so I doubt they have Shang-Chi. And then we just hope middle's enough.
Head monkey? I really, I really think we sequenced all that game. I'm really happy with how we sequenced that game. Uh, thank you for making it to the end of my Marvel Snap video. Uh, if you liked, I would really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, uh, you know, leave a comment. I also stream on twitch.tv slash and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for checking out my channel.